Hi and welcome to Worldwide Culinary Apprentice Cooking School. I'm Chef Roger and I'm about to show you how we butcher a chicken. So here we have a beautiful chicken. Those are my chicken breasts and I'm going to get from that part. The chicken legs. Chicken breast is going to be separate from the wings and the leg is going to be separate between the leg and the thigh. So first thing I need to do is to remove the wishbone that's inside and it's located right here at the front. You want to lift the skin here and you can feel it if you go around like that and apply the pressure you will feel that bone that's curving into the chicken. To remove it it's very easy. I get the knife on it and I'm just going to scrap like that on top of the bone. I'm doing it on that side I'm going to do on the other side too. Then with my finger I'm going to place them, I'm going to go under the bone like that and expose it. Here and here. Then I can just pull it this way. And here I just remove the wishbone that's right here. Okay. Now I'm going to trim the wings at the second joint. That will be the first joint, second one. We're going to cut right here into the middle to separate the wing. That's very simple. Same thing on the other side. Okay. Now, I'm going to remove my legs. But as I remove the leg, I want to make sure I remove those oysters with it here. So what you can do if you want to help yourself to know where they are, is you could mark the chicken by doing a little crust like that. And that shows you that on each side you have your oysters. Now I put it back on its back and I'm going to cut right here into the skin. Uh, if you look here, you see it's a little yellowish line. This is where you want to cut. You do a little incision and then you can pull the skin and the leg this way. You pop the bone out of his drum. We're using the tip of a knife. You're going to look for your oyster, which is located right here, right here. And then you cut straight. You're going to have to cut through a little tendon to separate the leg from the carcass. See that my tendon was right here, and I just cut through it. Then I can just delicately pull or cut into the skin to finish removing the leg, this way. I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the other leg. So again I'm going to cut in between the leg and the breast, just like that. I'm going to pull that delicately and pop the joint up going to go for my oyster using the tip of a knife. You can also use your thumb. The oyster is right here. If you run your thumb under it, you'll be able to separate the oyster from the carcass. Right here. And then you keep going. You cut that tendon again. And then you're going to pull on the leg. As you pull, I put my thumb here on the bone so I don't rip everything apart, you know, and I just pull it off like that. It's very important to make sure also that you leave the skin on top of your breast so you don't cut through it. Huh? Now I'm going to remove the backbone. To remove the backbone, I'm going to lift it up here, I'm going to do one cut, here, cut it this way to remove that part. Now I still have the rest of the backbone that's here, so I'm going to put my knife inside here and cut it this way, on both sides. Here I remove the rest of the backbone, here. So we're almost done. Here we have what we call the keel bone. The keel bone, which if you think of a boat, you know, the keel of a boat, it's the same shape, this is why we cut it this way. 
I need to scrap a little bit here some of the skin that's on top of it to be able to remove it correctly. See I'm scrapping the skin off here uh, to expose that part. Then I'm going to do a tiny incision wrap up front right here just like that and now I'm going to put my phone on one side of the breast overlapping the kill bone and with my other hand I'm going to pop it like that this way. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. See I put my thumb on the bone on the other side and put it like that. Now I should be able to run my finger through it this way and pull that kill bone off. And here it is. And you see why we cut it the kill bone. Now I'm going to separate those in two. Before I do that I want to make sure again that the skin is nicely laid here on that side so I don't cut through it and it's evenly distributed between both breasts. Take your knife, put it in the center and just run it down like that. So this is what we call a quarter chicken here. You have your two legs and your two breasts. Now depending, you might want to remove a wing from it and separate the thigh from the leg. So to separate the thigh from the leg, it's very simple. If you look closely here, you have that yellow line. You want to cut right through it because that line is right on top of the joint from the connection from your thigh and the leg. So you put your knife here and you're just going to cut inside. If as you cut you feel some resistance, that means you're cutting on the bone. So you want to you know, move your knife a little bit to make sure that you are in between the joint. One more time. Yellow line here. Put your knife on top of it. Cutting straight. And run the knife down. Now for the breast, here I kept the bone on it. Uh, when I cook my chicken breast, I like to cook them on the bone because I get much more flavor from it. And also I will keep a nice shape of my chicken breast. If I was to remove the bone, the chicken breast will shrink as it cooked. So this is the reason I'm leaving it on here. Now, let's go back here to the oyster. Why do we call it the oyster also? The other reason, if you look at that bone, this is where the oyster was located here. Let me remove it so you understand. If I cut this off here, uh, I just have that bone. It looked like the shell of an oyster. This is why we call it in English an oyster. Now, with those bones, you could make a nice chicken stock. Huh? If you don't have enough to make a large chicken stock with just that part, you could just freeze them, wait to have enough chicken bones, and make a larger chicken stock. And this is how you break down a chicken. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next class. Bye bye.